An increasing body of research demonstrates the impact of climate change on bird species across the globe, revealing a suite of responses. The timing of bird breeding and of migration have both become earlier, and these shifts in timing have averaged one to three days per decade. Climate change is driving a consistent poleward shift in the distribution of bird species, the rate of change exceeding 11 kilometres per decade. And globally, bird population declines have been greatest where warming has been the most rapid. Climate change is driving large-scale shifts in bird communities across the globe, and we are seeing a consistent simplification of these communities as they become more similar to each other. Migratory bird populations are declining widely around the world, and migratory species may be particularly exposed to the impacts of a changing climate. BTO's long-term data sets provide vital evidence informing us of the impacts of climate change on the UK's birds. In November 2021, we published a report, Climate Change in the UK's Birds, and as the BTO's Director of Science, James Pierce Higgins, reveals, the report highlighted some of the winners and losers. We have tried to present the most comprehensive assessment of the impacts of uh, climate change on UK birds and put that out during the uh, recent COP in Glasgow to uh, provide that evidence base to decision makers. So we've looked at the effects that climate change has had already on our British birds, both breeding and wintering populations um, from a range of different sources, um, particularly drawing on a lot of studies that we've been involved with over the last few years using our long-term data sets to track those impacts of climate change. We also pulled together various assessments of the future vulnerability of species to climate change. Again, many of those that uh, we at the BTO have led on to provide that first sort of overall assessment of uh, the vulnerability of, of UK birds to future climate change. And then thirdly, um, aware that uh, how we respond to climate change and um, the implications of the decisions that have uh, been recently made in, in Glasgow will have for our, for our land use and for our seas, we've highlighted a couple of areas where actually our response to climate change could well also impact on our birds, whether that's uh, work on offshore renewables to understand the vulnerability of seabirds um, and what we might do about it, or thinking about large-scale tree planting, um, which again can have implications for some of our open country species of conservation concern, but could be beneficial for some of our woodland birds. What we found was that uh, species which tend to show negative responses to temperature are ones which have particularly declined over the last 25 years, by about a third or so for both breeding and wintering populations. Whereas species which don't show any evidence of uh, significant responses to warming, or indeed have increased in response to warmer temperatures, um, have tended to increase their populations, um, both in, in, in breeding and wintering uh, populations. What we see with some of our seabirds, um, our internationally important seabird population, species like the puffin, um, about 70% of these uh, species are thought to be highly vulnerable to climate change. Recent modelling work that we've done suggests that puffin populations will decline potentially by up to 90% by 2050 under a high climate change scenario, probably through the impacts that we see of warmer seas disrupting marine food webs and reducing the amount of fish that's available for them to eat. We also find lots of our upland birds which are associated with cooler climates tend to also show negative responses to warming and are highly vulnerable to future impacts of climate change. Species like the curly already declining for a range of different factors, um, golden plover, uh, black grouse and so on. This report provides a really strong evidence base of how, how climate change is already impacting on British birds and shows the particular vulnerabilities of our internationally important seabird populations and also our unique assemblage of upland birds to climate change. Both these groups are highly vulnerable to the impacts of climate change, but also if we don't get our decision making right, could also be negatively affected by how we respond to climate change, whether it's through large-scale renew renewable deployment um, in our seas, uh, if we put those in the wrong place, or thinking about um, large-scale tree planting and woodland expansion in the uplands, which again can be negative for vulnerable species, open country species like curlew, golden plover and dunlin.